telling you. Hi, all of y'all. So, for this video, I'm going to talk about the things that I remember about the 70s, my childhood. You know, I, I would have to say that in the 70s, that, that was like one of the best moments of my life that I can remember because back in the times, if I can reminisce the times like dating back to about 1976 or like in the late, in that second half of the 70s when we were living in that Santa Ana house and the South Townsend Street house. Like the things I can remember that typically what I used to do like when I would go to school and then whenever, when we would get home from school like some of the first things that we do we used to go play with a friend you know like we had our we had this particular person that me and Arnold used to always go to like to play to go to his house you know like and we used to play you know like cops and robbers or we used to play with his toys we love we loved interacting with friends in those days because you know in those days you know because you figure in the 70s back in the 70s all we had was a TV and a radio and a telephone that's all we had a landline you know but I mean those are the only three things that we had in the 70s and during the and during my kid years so yeah I mean telephone and TV so when we come home from school first thing I would do is go to the TV and watch the cartoons watch cartoons and stuff and I, I, I was like overjoyed with it, like especially when Arnold would come in and join the game, or join me and Hector when we would all join together to watch the cartoons on TV. I loved that. I mean, I tell you, those were like the happiest moments, you know, when we would all be together watching the TV and the cartoons and stuff. And sometimes, you know, in the later parts of the 70s, when Hector first started getting onto the radio, like getting into radio, like the Mighty 690 and stuff, then, then we would play music, and then music was kind of a trend. But before that, we used to go to school, and and then when we'd come home, first thing we'd do is watch TV, and then and then we would also go play with our friends, you know? I mean, they, they were like the funnest time. And I tell you, also, besides that, like, during the weekends or <clears throat> during the weekends like when we, like another favorite thing that I loved about the 70s was our family gatherings I mean that that was like the our favorite things to happen in our, in our lives family gatherings you know like I I love those days you know like I tell you that those were like the moments that made me the happiest because I loved being around people but you know what made me more happy is to see everybody all happy you know? I mean everybody just enjoying themselves like having company and talking and then you know also we used to do a lot of things like going to parks like we would have our family gatherings to parks and we played with those swings you know remember like the little spin around thing <laughs> yeah I've been on those things and the slides that burn you in summer and stuff yeah <laughs> remember those you know and then of course we used to ride our bikes you know like when for those of us who had our bike I tell you man it was, it was all about having fun you know it was all about having interactions with people back in the day but it could probably be pretty easy to see why we had our fun doing that it was because back in those days you know we didn't have any of the fancy stuff that we have today we didn't have Facebook and we didn't have any cell phone and we had no tablets nothing we didn't have any internet nothing not, not even a video game and for that matter in the 70s we didn't have a video game in the 70s and we didn't have VCRs in the 70s so like I said it was only TV a radio and um, and the telephone that we had back then because we didn't have any recording devices because my dad didn't want to buy us any in those days you know but VCRs, you had to be rich to buy, to have one of those, you know, back in the 70s. So, you know, so what did we do? I mean, in the 70s, you know, like, if I remember, like, the reason why we had so much fun and, and the reason why we were able to make friends easy, I mean, like, it was it was a time when when everybody can be friends, you know, like, we, like, it was all about making friends and all, every, it was all about being 
making friends, you know, being friends, you know, like looking to be friends, you know, anybody you'd see outside, you'd go say hi and you'd want to talk to them because you would want to play games, you would want to interact with anybody back then, you know, we would just get out and say hi to just about anybody, it didn't matter who you were, it didn't matter if you were green or blue, it didn't matter, I mean, it, like, it didn't matter what kind of shape or side, whatever, it didn't matter if you were a square or if you were a circle or a rectangle or an oval, it didn't matter, it didn't matter if you're green or purple or blue, I mean, it, we were we were looking to make friends, you know, in those days, you know, in the 70s. But for the big reason of why why um, it was it was the case in those days is because since we didn't have all of that fancy stuff that we have today, like we would be in the room, like if we were in a room without all that fancy stuff today, we'd basically be looking at a wall, you know, basically. I mean, yeah, it's kind of like a prison, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> we'd be bored unless we had books or something, you know, like if we had books to read back in the 70s because... Uh, only only a few, few select people had their own TVs in their rooms, you know, back then. But it was going to be like a small black and white TV, which was not going to be much fun to have just a TV because, like, only your favorite shows are only on at certain times. But that was only a certain select people that had the, the, the um, gift of life to, to have such a thing like that back then, you know. But... So you figure that without all the fancy stuff in the 70s that we have today, that we have right now, like our phones in today's time, we, we would just be looking at a wall, and so that was kind of hard to do that. So, of course, that would make us want to get out, you know. That would make us want to get out and look for something to do. And, I mean, and in this case, interact with people. I mean, we would have the most fun, like, with with people. Like, when, when we had a friend to do... To, to interact with that was like the most fun back then because that was kind of like our internet and our Facebook back then you know like our friends our physical friends in those days you know like of course you know like if we were home you know we didn't have anything to to play with back then you know like like we could not we could not play with by ourselves because it was no fun back then you know like <clears throat> maybe some of us had board games but it's no fun to play with that by yourself, you know, like, so, it, so, for those of us, like, who, who lived without all the fancy stuff that we have today, in the 70s, like, in the 70s, like, talking about not even having a VCR back then, you know, not even having a VCR, or not even having an Atari 2600 back in the day, like, we didn't have that until the 80s, you know, so, what we did, I mean, we just watched TV, or we, we, our favorite thing was to interact with people. Since that, that was like the funnest thing to do back then, you know, like in the 70s, that was like the top tier things to do that made life so much fun in those days. But, but talking about my life, you know, talking about the things that I used to do and, and things that I used to love about life, even though I didn't have all the fancy stuff, that, I mean, even though I didn't have all the fancy stuff that we have today, like cell phones and Facebook and all of our Genshin Impact games, all of our little games that we play on our phones and Facebook and video chats and all that stuff, you know, all the things that we have today, despite of not having any, any of all of that stuff back then, I still enjoyed my life, you know, in my days. I enjoyed my childhood life, you know, because I do know, like, because back then we did a lot of them like we did a lot of interacting with people and we and we were all able to be friends you know like everybody was able to be friends with each other you know like we we heard no drama there was no drama in our day of course you know we had our days we we had some friends here and there that were kind of like people that it, it was best to kind of like keep clear. We had that, of course, you know, but it was not that, it was not too common to hear of that, you know, and we surely didn't hear um, anything about school shootings and, or any kind of, or drama of any kind. We didn't hear any kind of, like, drama back then, you know, nothing like that. I mean, it was just all about wanting to make friends, you know, because, I mean, it was like the best gift for us, you know, we took it as a gift, 
as getting as being able to have friends, you know, friends, physical friends, you know, like because back then that was like the best thing to have because that was like the best way to go because you know like you could do like I mean it's just it was just the best way to go but now but if we're talking about today's time you know it, it's very different in today's times because everybody's like glued to glued to the phones and people don't really want to socialize these days you know because I saw this video the other day and I was able to really make sense of this homeless guy that it was about this video title is called um homeless man spits out the truth i was watching that and that that was actually a good video because it, it relates to how it is today how things are today you know but but in my day you know i just know that we did a lot of family gatherings and i tell you like some of my favorite times favorite moments was like when we would have our little weekend family gatherings and have our fun in parks those, those were like my favorite times you know of, of my life you know, and all this was despite of having none, none of the fancy stuff that we have today. Not even a VCR or not even a, yeah, not even a VCR or a, not even a, an Atari 2600 we had in those days. We didn't have those then, but despite of all that, we still had a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed my childhood life. And if I was going to have my say, what was my favorite decade of my whole life, I would have to say the 70s. On that aspect, on that part of the aspect, anyway. So yeah, I mean, there you have it. So this is gonna conclude to the video. So I mean, I'm just, just talking about how how we got along without it. I mean, and why, and also why we were able to make friends back then. You know, like so to sum it up, sum it up. The main one of the main reasons why we were able to make friends was because. Uh, we didn't have any fancy technology that would, that would um, how it called, that would actually basically just get in the way of trying to make friends because we, I mean, we didn't have any of this fancy technology that just gets in the way where we'd be so drawn to it instead of making friends, you know, yeah, so that, why, so, okay, all right. That concludes to the video. Today is June 28th, 2022. So, all right. I'll see you on the next video. All right. I hope you have a good day.